All right, Pecan the Great asks, Hey, Hacksaw, I cried as a kid when Yokozuna gave you the bonsai drops, especially when Mr. Fuji put the flag over you. Did you know how impactful that moment would be for fans, and what did you do with your time off? Uh, recuperated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's one of those ones where people say, Hey, Hacksaw, I saw you throw a punch. You missed the guy by that much. That's the one where Yoko hit me by that much. You know, you don't always miss, and sometimes you hit. And, you know, it was a big crowd. The flag was down. I don't think Yoko would really see me. And, yeah, he, he hurt me. That was uh, one of those ones where I, where I was injured. Yeah, a couple cracked ribs where I couldn't uh, breathe too well. Oh, but, um, you know, but Yoko and I were, were good buddies. I got along good with Yoko. And he, he didn't do it intentionally. That's why it's good to work with somebody you know. If it was Matt Bourne, I would have been, well, I, I might back over him in my car or something. <laughs> 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 but the big, big Yoko, he, he, yeah, he, he didn't mean it. But I did not uh, uh, realize that the, the, the effect that it had on fans. It's humbling to realize that folks were, were that upset about it, really. But, uh, yeah, that's one uh, – where I was hurt. That's where, you know, I, I love carrying the flag and, and representing America. And, you know, that me and Yoko, that was a great angle going. And, you know, uh, for the fans who aren't aware, uh, Jim, you're you're like a real true blue patriot. Like the guy that we see on screen, that's you. Like you love America and uh, you love the American flag. So, I mean, were there any objectives whenever they did drape the other flag over you? No, 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 no. But I, that I was kind of an office guy where I would do pretty much what they, they asked. I knew it would be good business. I really did, you know. Uh, and it wasn't, you know, compared to a lot of stuff, it really wasn't disrespecting the flag that much. And it got Yoko over. It didn't do a whole lot for me. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a, it was a, a big uh, boost for my career. But we were putting old Yoko over, and I got along with Yoko, and I was uh, a, a company guy that way. Or, yeah, okay, if that's what, because yeah, I didn't, uh, you got that yeah, kid? I didn't, um, yeah, I uh, lost my train of thought there, but yeah, I, I never, never thought of it was affecting, it was a character I was playing. So, yeah, I, I didn't mind doing it. Yeah, and so look, I mean, the fact that whatever it is now, 31 years later, fans are still, still remember it and talk about it. Like, man, that's the, you guys did something right. Well, you know, that was the, the golden age of wrestling. It's amazing. Even, you know, young kids, they get to watch all that, uh, the, the old stuff. I think we like to call it classics. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it was, a, it was a golden age. It's fun. It's like watching uh, old movies. Uh, I mean, every character, you can still name, you know, 10 characters without thinking about it. Junkyard Dog, Jake the Snake, Coco Beware, Bret Hart, you know. I mean, yep. 